Let me start this video with a conversation between Amazon chief Jeff Bezos and Warren Buffett. One day Jeff Bezos asked, Warren, your investment thesis is so simple yet so effective. Why doesn't everyone just copy you? Do you know what was his reply? Warren Buffett replied, because nobody wants to get rich slow. The reason why majority of investors fail to create wealth in stock market is because they want to generate multi-packer returns in no time. And they don't like to see their portfolio in red. If the stock fall, they panic and sell. So if you want to create wealth in stock market, then biggest lesson from Warren Buffett is to keep patience and remain invested and let the power of compounding work its magic. Do not worry too much about why market is falling. In fact, Utilize every opportunity in falling market to accumulate quality stocks. Hey everyone, my name is Sahil and this is Mappas of Finance Academy. In this video, I want to cover 10 mid cap and small cap stocks with immense growth potential in the next 10-20 years that can be added in the portfolio on every dip without worrying too much about market movement. And this video is special because there is a mega giveaway. I will be gifting all of you free shares of world's most innovative company, Apple. So do not miss this. All right, let's get started. Number one stock in my list is from manufacturing sector. It is Dixon Technologies. Established in 1993, Dixon Technologies is basically a brand behind the brands. It means it manufactures electronic products for various brands. Some of its clients include Samsung, Xiaomi, OnePlus, Philips, Havels, Cisco, Bajaj, etc. Its portfolio include LED TVs, washing machine, LED bulbs and tube lights, smartphones, CCTV camera and medical equipments. In the last 5 years, Dixon Technology revenues have jumped exponentially from 1,389 crore in March 16 to 9,854 crore by December 21 at a CGR of 40.6%. Its profits have increased from 43 crore in March 16 to 171 crore by December 21 at a CGR of 27%. In last three years, Dixon profits have grown at an exceptional CAGR of 44%. It is currently trading at levels of 4,300 and commands a market cap of somewhere around 25,500 crore. So it is a mid cap company. Although currently it is trading at a high valuation with a PE of 149, but worth investing on every dip for long term wealth creation. If you look at the future growth, some of the growth drivers include rising per capita income, high disposable income, then penetration of mobile in country has opened opportunities for doorstep delivery of goods and services that requires usage of electronic products. Moreover, Chinese disruption and government initiatives like Make in India, Atmanirbhar Bharat and PLI scheme has attracted several global and domestic brands to explore countries' electronic appliance and lightning space and has created limitless opportunities for companies like Dixon Technologies. Now next talk in my list is from chemical sector. It is Deepak Nitride. Established in 1970s, Deepak Nitride is among the leading and fastest growing chemical companies with a diversified presence across basic chemical, finance specialty chemical and performance products. Its product portfolio caters to segments like dyes and pigment, agrochemical, pharmaceutical, plastics, textile, paper and home and personal care segment in India and overseas. In last 5 years, Deepak Nitride revenues have jumped from 1,373 crore in March 16 to 6,393 crore by December 21 at a CGR of 30.6%. Deepak Nitride profits have jumped from 63 crore in March 16 to 1,090 crore by December 21 at a CGR of 64%. Although chemical sector has seen a sharp rally in the past and there has been a sharp correction recently. But I believe that chemical is a long term growth story in India due to China plus one theme where global MNCs are looking for alternatives to China and India is already the 6th largest producer of chemicals and has all the required skill set and technology to cater to ever growing global demand for chemicals. In fact, even the Indian government is focusing a lot on Make in India and Atmanirbhar Bharat initiative and that would again help Indian chemical companies to flourish in the long term. Currently Deepak Nitride is trading at levels of 2250 and commands a market cap of somewhere around 30,000 crore. So essentially a mid cap company. Valuation wise, it is trading at a P ratio of 28, which is looking reasonable. Next two companies in my list are from electric vehicle sector. There's no doubt that the future of automobile is electric, autonomous, shared and connected. And every government in the world is pushing for adoption of electric vehicle to reduce carbon footprint and dependency on oil. 
and this EV revolution in India is a nascent stage. So next two stock from electric vehicle sector in my list are Tata Lexi and KPIT Technology. Both are among the leading technology partners in electric vehicle revolution in the world. And the best part is that since both the companies are from technology sector, they are asset light with negligible debt levels. Tata Lexi revenues have jumped from 1,075 crore in March 16 to 2,471 crore by March 22 at a CAGR of 15.5%. Its profits have increased from 155 crore in March 16 to 550 crore by March 22 at a CAGR of 25%. Currently, Tata Lexi is trading at levels of 7,800 and commands a market cap of around 49,000 crore. Valuation-wise, it is trading at a P ratio of 88.8, .8, which is looking expensive. Then KPIT revenues have jumped from 641 crore in March 19 to 2,432 crore by March 22 at a CAGR of 56%. Its profits have increased from 54 crore in March 19 to 274 crore by March 22 at an exceptional CAGR of 72%. Currently KPIT is trading at levels of 585 rupee and commands a market cap of around 16,000 crore. Valuation-wise, it is trading at P ratio of around 64.6, which is looking slightly expensive. It recently had its Q4 result and its profits are up 50% and share price jumped 12% yesterday. Now that we are talking about innovation in electric vehicle, you can also diversify your portfolio by investing a small portion in US-based companies that are among the biggest disruptors in the world. For example, you are watching this video on YouTube, which is owned by Google. Your phone is probably running on either Android or iOS. Where do you shop from? Amazon, right? I'm sure you watch movies on Netflix. Do you notice a pattern? All of these are American companies. The kind of technological advancement that happened in the US is amazing. We really believe in the growth of companies like Tesla, Google, Apple, Amazon, and we get inspired by the founder of these companies. So wouldn't it be great if you could benefit from the growth of these companies? I'm sure some of you invest in Indian stocks, but there is a major reason why you should consider investing in US stocks. First is of course diversification and second is fractional ownership. So unlike the Indian stock market where a person has to buy one full share of a stock, US market gives the ability to buy a fractional share. So one can buy a small part of an otherwise expensive stock. Although when it comes to investing in direct US stocks, one concern is high account opening fee and very high commission in brokerage fee. But I've been using IND money where there is no commission on buying or selling stock, no paperwork to open the account, no account opening or maintenance fee, no flat charges to load your US stock account. With IND money, you also get the best currency exchange rate. Apart from this, finally when you withdraw money from US account to Indian account, there's a fee of $5 which is again lowest in the country. All right, now it is time for giveaway. So if you sign up on IND Money from the description link and fund your free US stock account for the first time, you get free stocks of Apple worth Rs. 750 in your reward section. Or you can install the app from the Play Store or the App Store and just sign up with the code SBAPPLE, set up and fund US stock account and you will get free shares of Apple worth Rs. 750. Now next three stocks in my list are from technology sector and it is one of my favorite sector. The reason is simple. Due to rising usage of smartphones and internet, technology companies are growing at a very fast rate. And this trend would only continue to increase. In fact, even the Indian government has a lot of focus on digitization. And the best part is, the business model of technology companies are very asset light. Hence, they are highly profitable. Plus, the kind of scale you get from technology is unparalleled. Technology can reach out to people even from the remotest village. Companies are using advanced technologies like IoT, Big Data, Advanced Analytics, AI and ML, Cloud Computing and so on to transform the way we live. So fifth stock in my list is Tanla Platform. Tanla Platform is the leader in CPaaS technology that is communication platform as a service. CPaaS is a cloud-based delivery model that enables the enterprise to add voice, video, and messaging feature to their existing business software using APIs. One of the most popular use case of CPaaS technology is the OTP that we receive on our phone at the time of transaction. Due to increasing smartphone user base, there's a need for personalized and targeted communication driven by omnichannel experience. Hence, there's a huge adoption of digital transformation by enterprises and majority of them are moving to CPaaS technology. Tanla revenues have jumped from 
432 crore in March 16 to 3001 crore by December 21 and an exceptional CAGR of 40%. Its profits have increased from 7 crore in March 16 to 501 crore by December 21 and an unbelievable CAGR of 110%. This growth is mainly driven by its path-breaking products like Wisely and TrueBlock. Currently, Tunla is trading at levels of 1470 and commands a market cap of around 20,000 crore. Valuation-wise, it is trading at a P ratio of around 40, which is looking decent considering its future growth prospects. Then sixth stock is CDSL. CDSL is among the only two players in the DMET industry in India with more than 50% market share. Recently, CDSL has crossed 5 crore DMET account opening. In fact, the DMET account opening has skyrocketed post-COVID due to the sharp rally in the stock market and bumper IPO listing. And considering the fact that equity investment in India is still very low and the fixed return options are not even able to beat inflation, there is going to be a huge surge in DMET account opening in the future. Also the fact that there is now huge awareness about equity investment. Hence, CDSL has very bright growth prospect. CDSL revenues have jumped from 123 crore in March 16 to 518 crore by December 21 at a CGR of 28.4%. Its profits have increased from 91 crore in March 16 to 285 crore by December 21 at a CAGR of 22%. Currently, CDSL is trading at levels of around 1400 and commands a market cap of around 15,000 crore. Valuation-wise, it is trading at a P ratio of 51.6, which is slightly on the higher side. Then seventh stock is FL India. Established in 2006, Apple India is a global technology company with proprietary consumer intelligence platform that delivers consumer acquisition, engagement, and transaction through relevant mobile advertising. As the usage of mobile phone is increasing, there is going to be a growing demand for targeted mobile ads. In fact, the mobile ads are growing at a very fast rate. Hence, Apple India has a bright future prospects. Apple India revenues have jumped from 167 crore in March 18 to 908 crore by December 21 at an exceptional CAGR of 57%. Its profits have increased from 28 crore in March 18 to 205 crore by December 21 at an unbelievable CAGR of 70%. Currently, Apple India is trading at levels of around 1200 and commands a market cap of around 16,000 crore. Valuation-wise, it is trading at a P ratio of 78, which is on the higher side. Next two stock in my list are from Renewable and Clean and Energy theme. Today, we are facing a big problem of climate change due to pollution. Especially some of the Indian cities are among the most polluted cities in the world. And usage of energy is only going to increase in the future. Hence, there is only one solution. Power generation from renewable sources. Even the Indian government is highly focused towards renewable and green energy. The current renewable energy production in India is around 100 gigawatt and Indian government has set up a target of 500 gigawatt of renewable energy production by 2030. That's five times from current levels in the next eight years. So you can imagine the growth prospect. Hence, my eighth pick is Borussia Renewable. Borussia Renewable is the only solar glass manufacturer in India. In last five years, its revenues have jumped from 222 crore in March 16 to 659 crore by December 21 at a CAGR of 21%. Its profits have increased from 16 crore in March 16 to 186 crore by December 21 at a crazy CAGR of 53%. Currently, Borussia Renewable is trading at levels of 720 and commands a market cap of around 9,500 crore. Valuation-wise, it is trading at a P ratio of 50, which is on the higher side. Now, ninth stock in my list would benefit from government focus to reduce dependency on oil by blending ethanol with petrol and diesel. Currently, the ethanol blending in petrol is around 8% and government is targeting the blending at 20% by 2025. So, one stock that would benefit from this development would be Praj Industries. Established in 1983, Praj Industries is a globally leading company with sustainable solutions for bioenergy, high purity water, critical process equipment, breweries and industrial wastewater treatment. In last 5 years, its revenues have jumped from 1024 crore in March 16 to 2071 crore by December 21 at a CGR of 13%. Its profits have increased from 82 crore in March 16 to 145 crore by December 21 at a CAGR of 10.4%. However, the major growth has come in last one year where the profits have grown by 168%. Currently, Praj is trading at levels of 420 and commands a market cap of around 7500 crore. 
Valuation wise, it is trading at a P ratio of 53, which is slightly on the higher side. Now, final stock in my list is from consumption and infra theme. India is still way behind the developed countries in terms of infrastructure and Indian government has a lot of focus on infra building. And now that there is an uptick in real estate sector after slowdown in past few years due to factors like lower housing interest rate and this would benefit infra sector. So 10th pick is Polycap India. Polycap is the number one manufacturer of wires and cables in India with a market share of over 18%. And now it has also folded into consumer electrical products like your fan, LED lights, switches, solar inverters, etc. In last five years, its revenues have jumped from 5,202 crore in March 16 to 11,297 crore by December 21 at a CGR of 15%. Its profits have increased from 185 crore in March 16 to 868 crore by December 21 at a CGR of 31%. Currently, Polycap is trading at levels of around 2500 and commands a market cap of around 38,000 crore. Valuation wise, it is trading at a P ratio of 43, which is slightly on the higher side. So, in this video, we discuss the 10 growth mid cap and small cap stocks that can be bought on every dip. I have tried to diversify the portfolio by covering key themes and sectors. The list include Dixon Technology in Manufacturing, Deepak Nitrate in Chemical, Tata Alexi in KPIT in EV Sector, then Tenla Platform, CDSL and Apple India from Technology Sector, Borosil Renewable and Prad Industry from Clean Energy Sector and Polycap from Infra and Consumption Space. These are the stocks that can be bought on every dip in a systematic manner to generate multibagger return in the long term. By the way, I have already covered majority of stocks in my Fundamental Analysis series. Do have a look for in-depth study of each company. I have provided the link in the description. And don't forget to check out IND Money. It is absolutely free. More than 4 million Indians use this. So you can download the app from the description and claim your free Apple shares or download the app and use the code SBAPPLE to get your free shares. So this is it from this video. I hope you'll find it useful. Also comment which is your favorite stock from this list. I'll see you next video. Till then, take care.